Pisces, welcome. Alicia and Vince here from Two Mystics Tarot. Today, we're going to pull some advice from Spirit for you. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. Now, let's dive right into what messages Spirit has for you. All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's get some advice and see exactly how you can enhance your life spiritually, physically, and financially. Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Universe, which is the World card. We have the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. So right now, there's a lot of abundance heading your way. That's a very, very good thing. Right now, Ten of Pentacles lets you know that there's an inheritance, money, bonus, something to do with the Pentacle nature, 3D Earth World stuff, food, shelter, finances coming into your life. Now, the reason for that is, is because you've kept your vibrations in a state where you're attracting this into your life. It's very, very important. The happier you are, the more abundance and joy and the more you know the harmony you have in your heart that's what you're going to attract like attracts like law of attraction guys so it's very important that you continue on with this belief why because the five of pentacles lets you know that if you do not the abundance will be taken away and if you have that scarcity mindset of losing something fear anxiety jealousy whatever the case may be all of this will be taken away so your guides are clearly letting you know what will happen if you follow what you're doing right now which is being happy Happy, and what will happen if you do not follow that and switch your negative mind state to negative thinking, right? You do not want that. Now, six of wands lets you know that clear skies ahead, continue really being that vibrational frequency that you want. Tap into alignment, speak to source, keep watching readings, keep doing things to progress in your life and good things will come. It is literally the victory lap is close by. The universe, which is the world card, goes to show that you stand to gain everything from this, right? You have nothing Nothing to lose, but you have everything to gain. If you what you if you change your mindset, and if you have a negative mindset in this case, because again, all this abundance, it's not always here for us in the sense that you're not always dialed in, right? Sometimes when you're not feeling good, your frequency is off. Right now, your frequency is in the right area. You're able to pick up the signals and you're able to send the right vibration to the universe and attract what you want. So right now, you stand to gain a lot because page of swords, the new clarity that you seek is here. The King of Cups is the love interest that's around the corner. Your guides are letting you know abundance, wealth, health, success. King of Cups energy, romance, love, intuition. Someone who speaks less and that listens more than they speak. Someone, again, who wears their heart on their sleeve. Someone, again, who really is a true soulmate. Everything you're looking for, you can stand to gain the world. Everything you're looking for is here as long as you maintain the right vibration. Exactly, Pisces. It really is all about the vibration you emit. And I can see here that it's really looking prosperous for you. Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, The Fool, clarified by the Two of Cups, Two of Swords. So definitely, Pisces, I feel like right now is a good time to look at things from a beginner's state of mind, a beginner's perspective. Whatever happened in your past, leave in the past. I feel like there's a new offering, new relationship headed your way. It is around the corner it's going to bring you a lot of stability it's going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of fulfillment a lot of passion i'm sensing a lot of passion and a lot of abundance this is a relationship that's going to allow you to create 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 make you feel like you're in a you're an aligned self because the two of you together are really going to be your yin and your yang a peanut butter and jelly type affair if you know what i'm saying and it's going to give you guys a lot of momentum moving forward in your lives together it's really important at this time again beginner state of mind and really be present in the right here, the right now, uh, you know, again, not getting too caught up in, you know, um, this and that, not getting too caught up in what people tell you, not getting too caught up in past experiences, really focusing your time and attention and your awareness in the present moment, because that is where we manifest and that's where we want it to stay. And if we're with a partner who we truly, truly love, a lot of the times our ego can get in the way. I don't know why ego does that, but it likes to get in the way sometimes and it likes to interfere. And we just want to make sure the guides and angels want to make sure that you're, you know, really being calm conscious to what's happening in the present moment, not what your ego is trying to tell you, because it could be trying to refer you back to an old situation, trying to protect you from right now. But again, awareness is everything. I feel like it's going to be, again, a very, very emotionally fulfilling, passionate time for you with this full card at the end here, letting you know that, you know, whenever we take that leap of faith, whenever we just go for it, it we're always rewarded, especially when, because you're following your intuition, your intuition knows best. And a lot of times when we're 
taking this leap. It could be this person, maybe somebody that's not even in your, um, you know, um, somebody that's not your usual type, let's just say. And then if you have opinions around you that are trying to de de detour you, but your intuition is like, no, this feels right to me. This might not be what I'm used to, but this feels right go with that, you know, again, there's always going to be someone trying to take you down if it doesn't connect with them. But be, uh, Pisces, you got great things go coming for you. Exactly. Your intuition, your intuition is the only, only person you can really listen to, right? Your intuition is spirit. Your intuition is your soul. That is your intuition. Listen to it. Believe in it. How do you tap into that? You got the hermit right here. We're going to get to that. But we have the hermit card, five of swords underneath the five of cups, guys. Look for synchronicities. We have the six of pentacles, the magician, the sun, and the king of swords. So right now, the hermit card is how you tap into your intuition. What does this mean? Collecting data, not reacting, taking some time for yourself. It is very, very important that you give yourself the same time, energy, and respect that you give other people, right? You let other, you do so much things for other people. You're so beautiful, Pisces, but you need to give your avatar time to rest. You need to give your soul food to eat, which is really manifestations, visualizations, meditation. You need to treat yourself the same respect as you treat other people. Next to that is the Five of Swords, which lets you know that, again, change is coming. And change seems scary to you right now because you still don't believe in yourself the way you should. You still don't believe that you deserve love, that it is your birthright to have love, and destiny wants to see you happy. You still believe that you know you are lucky to have found love. This isn't the case. Your guides are letting you know that there's abundance here for you and you deserve to be happy. But do you believe in it? Because if you don't believe in this, you're not going to you know, send off the right frequency. There's and send off the right vibration. And without that, we have nothing, guys. Everything is energy. Money is energy. Love is energy. This camera I'm looking at is energy. I am energy. You are energy. Everything is energy, guys. You have to understand that. Send off the right vibration. Connect that energy to you. Next to that, we have the Six of Pentacles, which goes to show balance, balance, emotional and financial stability that you're looking for is here. It's all here at your fingertips and harnessing the magician's powers of being spiritual and practical will get you there. Once you achieve this, the sun lets you know that success, success is around the corner. Everything will work itself out. You have so much abundance here. You got the world, cup, uh, world card up there. You got the sun card down here. Such a good reading for you, right? And the King of Swords goes to show the clarity that you need is within. You, everything is at your fingertips. How bad do you want it, Pisces? Exactly, Pisces. And I feel like I, I, I know exactly what it is you're looking for. And I can tell you that the universe is giving it to you here. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So it does feel like right now you've, you know, it's like you're going to be taking this leap of faith. Could be something with career, could be a relationship but you're taking this leap it's starting up a new chapter and it's feeling a little overwhelming like it's almost like you have even though it's a new chapter it could be something that you've been working on for some time but there's some new beginning in some way and you know just know this you're becoming a master at what it is you're doing so it's never time wasted okay it's always put towards something so all the energy and effort we put into it it's really really um always beneficial even if we can't see it at the moment and you know a lot of the times maybe we're taking something from the old and bringing it into a new context that new context is going to make us feel like we're still wobbly on our legs, like a newborn baby horse, okay? Like it's going to make us feel a little uncertain. But keep going and stay focused on what it is you want, your intentions, the positive out, um, out, um, uh, positive aspect of it, excuse me. Because when we remain focused on the positive aspect, that's what the vibration we send off, right? It's really easy when we're in a new situation to get too caught up with um, what we don't have yet in our reality and the uncertainty of it all. But that is what, you know, we've really got to try try to avoid here because that's what's going to bring you ace of cups that's what's going to bring you the fulfillment that you're looking for that love that career that just overall sense of pride and joy and happiness and it does take focus to get there it really really does but knowing that you know awareness really helps it all and have really having an open heart again really balancing your head and your heart in this decision is going to bring a lot of new opportunities coming to you because we miss opportunities if we're hanging on to any type of control or outcome 
or, or emotion, right? So we really just want to go with the flow, let things unfold as they should. Again, beginner state of mind, really be living in the here and right now and know that you got this, Pisces. Exactly, Pisces. The universe is yours. Destiny is yours. The, the soul, spirit, a creator, whatever you want to call them, wants to see you happy, right? Destiny wants to see you happy. And by you getting all this information and downloading it from spirit, you have a heads up of exactly what to do, be happy, and what not to do, not be happy, right? That is how you get into the right frequency. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Don't miss any uploads. We can't wait to hear next reading. Until then, check out these ones right here. We'll chat soon, Pisces. Bye for now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pisces.